Hi, I'm Dr. T. I grow mushrooms for over 16 years now and my interest as a mycologist uh, spans in different areas of mycology um, mostly including basidiomycetes and ascomycetes. I would list here um, growing edible and medicinal mushrooms um, wild mushroom taxonomy and biodiversity, uh, general mycology, and of course uh, innovations in fungi, and some other areas as well. Especially if you're thinking about nature, I'm really bound with nature and everything that's connected to that. The way of the mushrooms, it's uh, not understood by everyone at the same level um, and this is because we're different you know so I believe that growing mushrooms it's an art an art that is understood by some people while it's not that understood by some other people um, for example growing mushrooms it's not for idiots, it's not for lazy people, and it's not for um, perfectionists. Why I'm saying perfectionists? Because when you grow mushrooms, it's not you trying to control them as much as you can, but you have, it's the other way, <laughs> actually. Um, you know, perfectionists will want to those mushrooms to grow in a particular way, um, a, a particular spot, you know. That's not really possible when it's about growing mushrooms. Um, you can control them more or less, but uh, when you're really specific um, with the time, timing, when you, when you want them to pop, um, the way that you want them to grow and why do they look like this and not like that. So <clears throat> I would say that it's not for them. Um, and I met some perfectionists in my life that uh, were into mushroom growing business and uh, I believe that they were there for a reason and that reason was probably money and not to understand and to um, dive into the way of mushrooms um, um, this is more like for people that uh, are bound to earth like farmers um, people that want to grow mushrooms for their own kitchen um, those that want to um, invest time and energy into wonderful passion uh, people connected to nature and those that want to <clears throat> um, experiment with mushrooms and permaculture where they want to grow mushrooms sustainably um, by recycling uh, different substrates like paper, uh, coffee grounds and so on but um, also I would say that this is more like for those that want to experiment with mushrooms as well um, yeah so it is not for everyone but if you feel that uh, this is a good fit for you from what I listed here, then um, it's a good thing to explore and to start. Also you have to understand that once you dive into mushroom growing it's addictive. Why? Because there are so many combinations out there that you can do um, and this means that Probably when you're going to walk in a in a shop and you'll see some products on the shelves out there, you might connect those products in your mind with the process of mushroom growing. 
or when you're just driving on the road and you see a uh, uh, bale of straw on the side of the road then you're going to think oh look at that bale of straw that would be a very good substrate for the mushrooms to grow on so it's addictive um, and I just want to let you know what you're getting into so <laughs> so you can learn mushroom growing from books and also from uh, the internet but see the problem with the internet is that it's flooded with uh, information and it's practically virtual chaos and in this virtual chaos you'll find bits of quality information and there will be the majority of the information there it's not um, it, it's rather questionable <laughs> you know so <clears throat> if you choose that path then uh, you're going to have to spend a lot of time and energy this means probably to learn mushroom growing and you have to figure it out yourself this will take probably 10 hours a day for you to sit with a computer for several months and that's time consuming and energy draining because computers are energy suckers actually so I can tell you that I've been there about 16 years ago uh, when I started out with mushroom growing uh, there wasn't so much information on the internet but I had a couple of books that I read and it took me a long time to put everything together and to figure it out by myself because I didn't have any guide so yeah um, so when you have a guide everything turns so much easier right because a guide is going to show you step by step what you need to do and that's going to cut that necessary time for you to learn in half now I'm not saying that you shouldn't run into trouble because when you're running into trouble and 90% of your bags that you put out there get moldy even from that you're going to learn something um, and that's essential for, for it to happen but uh, <clears throat> even so when you have a mentor the mentor is going to um, show you the path the path that you have to follow in order to get to success in a shorter period of time so this is one of the reasons why I created this club this mushroom club and uh, I can tell you that this is dedicated to all of those that want to learn mushroom growing and it starts with um, the first stage which is uh, teaching the basics and you'll be able to learn different things in this stage uh, from where to start what to start with um, different methods of growing mushrooms uh, you're going to be taught about strain power for example or um, sustainable mushroom cultivation and so on um, the second stage it's dedicated rather to the intermediate uh, mushroom grower of course you're going to pass from the first stage to the second stage and so on and there's also a third stage which is more like for uh, rather advanced mushroom growers um, well the second stage is going to teach you how to grow different kinds of mushrooms how to reduce your contamination how to uh, make sure that the mushrooms that you grow have proper conditions and so on uh, the third stage is going to dive a little bit deeper into 
random processes like uh, uh, what are the factors that influence yield or um, how to set up a professional mushroom farm and so on so there are different teachings and different stages you can get from a stage to another depending on how active you will be in this uh, club um, yeah so this is it I would like to give you a sneak peek of the membership site so you can see how it looks the first thing that you want to do is to get to mushroom classes.com and uh, you'll go here click on this button and then you can sign up there and whenever you're going to want to log in into your member account then you go to stu student login here now let's see what's inside on the other side of the mushroomclasses.com so <clears throat> this is your member area and what you see here it's a uh, random training modules and as I told you before um, the whole membership site is divided into uh, three levels here we have the level the first level which is the start base pack dedicated to total beginners and some of these training modules are already available some are not um, but I'm going to work on them and uh, you'll get the information that you need and the level 2 the intermediate grower pack and of course level 3 the advanced grower pack in here if you go a little bit down there uh, you scroll down you will see that you have here some batches like you will start as a rookie and then you will continue as a lieutenant and finally you will get to the master uh, position here you have some instruction on how the membership club works um, some more buttons in here uh, that will uh, that you can unlock a little bit later when you're going to get to different stages um, and of course you can see a quick tour just click on that now just an example so you can see how one of these training modules looks like um, we're, we're going to see here the mushroom growing on logs and stumps so you can see that it's got uh, videos and this is the theory part um, so you can watch that and understand what I'm uh, explaining there and you have a uh, step-by-step instruction on how to do that and of course uh, some more instructions if um, is necessary now I'm going to get back and uh, I'll show you these buttons up here this is your account actually um, and then you can change things here you can add pictures and stuff uh, you can uh, even uh, close your account from here whenever you feel like if you feel that this training doesn't provide you with uh, the expected results or anything like that this is the support center just a moment we'll get there and I'm planning to do these live sessions so you can um, um, so we can meet up and we can uh, talk about random um, issues that you have where you feel stuck in your progress and so on and of course this just in case that you want to be an affiliate then you click on this and you can register for that um, yeah so this is pretty much it it's quite simple it's got um, it's got training modules available there will be also reports um, dedicated to yield on how to increase yield and so on 
and of course some other instructions in text format and videos more videos so yeah i hope uh, you will enjoy uh, this is just a start here i also do mushroom consulting with several farms across the west coast here in the u.s especially with california from time to time um, but see this is more like a customized form of mentoring and that's expensive and one of the reasons why I started this club is because I feel that uh, many mushroom enthusiasts out there that would like to start with mushroom growing they don't afford it and um, this is a problem of course not everybody um, has that cash to invest in order to you know to get uh, personal training in this so <clears throat> I believe that with a little bit of investment um, you can get to success in a short period of time and this is for only for those that really really want to learn so the club operates on a monthly recurring plan and the cost it's you know pretty much what you will get um, in a restaurant or a pizza and a beer so um, compared to that what you're going to learn remains it's not wasted you know so if you would like feel free to join um, at least you can try if you want <laughs>